Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the uh, the methodologies which are used in hidden Markov method. The two popular methodologies are Viterbi method and forward method to solve the problem, guys. So basically, your first question will be: So what is the problem to solve, right? Yes. So basically, in machine learning, one of the most popular things are nothing but pattern recognition, right? Natural process language, voice recognition, natural language processing. All these things are based on some patterns, right? So voice recognition, face recognition, everything. It will check for some patterns or some things, right? Yes. So those things, based on those patterns, if you identify what are the inputs. So this concept is called as a hidden Markov method. So in that we are we will try to find the hidden layers. So what the hidden layers are knowing. So basically here at the end they will give you a pattern and you need to find how that pattern can be generated. Okay. Yes. So let us start. So basically there is a small update in the solution guys. So the solution which I have done is a bit wrong. So the path originally will be in this way. Okay, I am drawing it right now and I will update in the group guys. Don't worry. Okay, so it is completely with respect to S1 only guys. Okay, so I don't know why but it ended up being in favor with completely S1 only from start to end. Okay, yes. So I will be sharing one more example guys because this example seems to be giving nothing information about us right about the situation of the problem right. So it is just following a single path. So I will be updating with a new problem in the group also. So don't worry about that also. Okay, yes. So let us start. Okay, so let us first understand the logic behind verbitary algorithm or method. After that, I will be saying you the logic of a forward method. So both the logics are really easy. And if you understand any one of them, you can clear you can clearly solve the other one, guys. Okay, yes. So the first step is draw the diagram for this guy. So basically here it is saying 2, 1, 2, 1, right? So what are the hidden states? Yes, 1 and yes, 2, right? Yes. So draw them that many times. So yes, 1, yes, 2. Yes one, yes two, yes one, yes two, yes one, yes two. Okay, so now from start. Okay, now draw all the combinations, guys. You can go directly. You can go from here. You can go directly. You can go from here. You can go directly. So in this way, you draw all the combinations, guys. Got it? Yes. So once you draw them, so you will you will calculate these values, guys. So whatever the values will be there here. Okay, so it is always an easy approach to name this arrow. So basically give this arrow A, give this arrow B, give this arrow C, D. Like that you give some letters and solve it guys. Because in my book, I started solving directly. I thought that it's really easy. So I can store everything there. But it ended up being a huge mess. So here I don't know which value belongs to which. So those kind of confusions will be coming. So that is the reason why please in, give some letters and solve them guys. Okay, so what is the letter A here so solution? Okay, so at the rate here, you can write in this way. So that does not lead to any misconception, right? So you're just writing instead of writing there, you're writing here. That's it. Okay, so what is A showcasing, guys? So from a start, you are going to S1. Okay, so what is at the start value? So there's no value. Okay, so let us continue from start to S1. So what is the probability from start to S1? It is 0.5. So write 0.5, okay, into what is, so what is our output, guys? So output is a 2, 1, 2, 1, right? Yes, so 2. 1, 2, 1. Okay, so from S1, you need to go to 2, right? So from S1, what is the probability to 2? S1 to 2, it is 0.5. So you'll be multiplying 0.5 into 0.5 to get this arrow's value or this value you can say or this value you can say, okay? Yes, so this value is an arrow's value is a nothing but a 0 0.25, guys. 0.5 into 0.5, okay? So is there any incoming arrow for this? No. Hence, this value, the node value will become 0 0.25. Similarly, you do for B also. So the value for B is 0 0.5 into 0 0.75. So basically from start you are going to S2. So start to S2 is 0.5 probability from S2 to 2 to our value 2. It is nothing but 0.75. So if you calculate, we got 0.375, right? Yes. So you will be you, here it is having only in, one incoming arrow. So you will be writing directly 0.375. Okay. Yes. So now let us calculate to the next step guys. Okay, so from S1, let us check from S1 to S1. So from S1, what is the value at S1? It is 0.25, right? Yes. So write it first. So 0.25 into, so what is the probability of S1 to S1? So basically you are moving from that state to that state only. So the probability from that state to that state is 0.9. So 0.25 into 0.9 into from S1, 
where you are trying to go 1 so from s1 to 1 what is the cost it is 0.5 so again 0.5 so here you will be always having three values guys so only at the first place you will have one sorry two values at every other place you will be multiplying three three values remember that guys okay yes so you, you will multiply them you got some value okay so similarly you solve for other arrows guys so basically the formula will look in this way so basically the value which it is holding into the value from where it is going to where into the value from where it goes to where okay guys if i find any kind of terminology for these formulas i'll be sharing it in our groups guys don't worry okay yes so for now let us understand the logic for now and if I, there is a, there are any proper formulas i found some formulas but they are not at all clear guys okay so once i find something proper i'll be just sharing in the group so don't worry okay okay so you'll be multiplying them so basically 0 0.25 into 1 into 0 0.25 you got that value so in that way you keep on solving them guys so you will be saying at this point we got two values so 0 0.1125 and 0 0.01875 right yes so you'll be saying that among these two what to select what to do so here you will be selecting the maximum one guys so here this is the maximum one right so you'll be omitting this one and you'll be selecting this one so continue so with this one again you'll be multiplying with this arrow so 0.125 into s1 to s1 which is a 0.9 into s1 to 2 which is 0.5 so that is the value at a right yes so 0.125 into 0.9 into 0.5 that is the result so in this way you'll be continuing guys so whatever maximum you are getting you will be taking that for the next value okay yes so in that way you will solve layer by layer slowly guys guys take a small piece of paper and solve it guys only then you can understand the logic behind it so anyway i'll be sharing one more problem so don't worry about it in our groups i'll be sharing one more problem guys okay yes okay so your question will be okay i solved everything i got values okay so now you start backtracking so basically you will check the maximum value at the output so what which is maximum this is maximum similarly at s1 okay so from to s1 how you can go this is one path and this is one path so among these two paths e and g which is max e and g e is max so now let us select e's path similarly from s1 a or c which is max a is max so let us select a's path so you selected this path okay so in this way you will backtrack guys so at the end we got the path start to s1 s1 to s1 s1 to s1 s1 to s1 okay yes so that is what the result we wrote at the end okay similarly you can solve for 1 2 2 1 2 2 also okay yes so this method is called as a ver uh, viter b method guys okay so what is the next forward method then i told everything is almost the same right yes so everything is almost the same the only change is whenever there are two entries so here we have two entries right so 0 0.1125 okay similarly 0 0.01875 right yes so in this situation instead of selecting the maximum value you will be adding them guys okay so you will be adding them okay so we got this value so you will be continuing with this value guys from here on so basically this node value will become this so in this way you will be adding the values instead of doing max got it yes so your question will be okay so let let, uh, let just to show s1 to s1 so we'll understand so here s1 value will be this right now so basically it this into what is s1 to s1 cost it is 0.9 probability into what is the probability of s1 to 2 that is 0.5 so you'll be getting this as the result so again you'll be calculating again if you got two entries here you will be adding them adding them add solve add solve so again at the end you will be solving the maximum way only so which is maximum you will be starting and you will be backtracking okay yes so this is the only mistake that is there in the problem guys so i went in a wrong path i don't know why i took that path but okay so this is the correct way guys i have cross checked it and i am confirming it now okay yes okay so i hope everyone got some basic idea about both of them right so if i find any any kind of formulas and i will share a problem on this guys okay because this problem is not that much clear right so it is just going in a single path so what is there a twist or toughness in it right yes we want some tough problems so that we can practice them right yes so i hope everyone got some basic idea on this uh, both methods so in the in the next lecture we'll be going through the review of this unit and we'll start in the next lecture we'll start the fourth unit of machine learning guys okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching